good morning students i am dr f andrews assistant professor pg research department of commerce st joseph college of arts and science kadalur so today we are talk about the voucher vouching is a essence of auditing so vouching is a potential tool in the hands of auditor to ascertain the accuracy of various transaction enter into the books of the accounts the act of establishing the accuracy and authenticity of entries in the books of the accounts is called a vouching vouching is the important part of the auditing the auditing without vouching shall be incomplete vouching is a backbone of auditing so likewise the work of vouching is very hard in real sense vouching is not only the backbone or essence of auditing but also is its soul the next voucher voucher may be defined as any documentary evidence which is the accuracy of the books entries the main objectives of the vouching of cash book most of the errors and frauds arise the connection with the receipt and payment of the cash by making misappropriation wherever possible the main objectives audit of cash book to ensure that all receipt are accounted for to know that all receipt and payment have been properly entered in the cash book to ensure that no fraudulent payment have been made to ensure that the payment made are true payment that the payment has been made to the right person and to verify the cash in hand and the cash at bank the points to bear in mind while examining a voucher first in the name of the employer the voucher should be made in the name of the employer of the concern the voucher should be on the printed form all the vouchers should be consequently numbered and filled in order of the entries in the various books the auditor should check date name of the party to whom the voucher is issued and the name of the party issuing the voucher and the amount etc the voucher which are inspected by the auditor should be cancelled by the stamp so that it has cannot be produced again the auditor should pay the special attention to this voucher it are in the personal name of one of the partners directors manager or officer of the company the auditor should see that every voucher passed correctly by responsible and senior officer of the concern and rubber stamp and signature should be checked if the amount of voucher exceed rupees 20 it must be stamped the auditor should note whether the voucher is stamped or not the auditor should see that the payment made by the concern relate to the business or not the auditor should see as the which account the payment is posted 
whether it is capital or revenue and see that the voucher are related to the same year in which audit is going on. The auditor should also see that the figures and words of the amount in the vouching should be named. The note should be made the transaction which required further verification of any other evidence. Example, they may be memorandum of association, articles of association, prospect, partnership deed, etc. The received invoice should not be accepted as voucher because the chance of double payment may be there once in the form of credit purchase and a second time in the form of cash purchase. Mutilated voucher. If the voucher mutilated or there is cutting in the figure of amount, then the auditor should not accept such voucher unless signed by any senior and a responsible officer of the concern. Fair purpose should not be accepted as voucher because chances of dishonesty may be there. Time of payment while checking the voucher for insurance, rates, taxes, etc. The auditor should see the period for which the payment has been made. If payment of made advance, then the auditor should see that correct adjustment are made or not. Vouching of cash transaction that is receipt. Cash sales voucher, the auditor should check the cash memo, cashier summarize and salesman abstract. The cash sales, there are many chances of the prad under this head and so much care should be taken. The auditor should the following point should be taken into consideration while vouching the cash sales. To check all the available evidence exhaustively. To check cash memos and daily sales summary. To check the number of cash memos. The auditor should check daily totals or receiving cashier and cash book with the general cash book. Receipt from debtors. The auditor should vouch the counterfoils received with the entries in the cash book. He should check the debtor's ledger, find out any outstanding debts. The auditor should correspond with the debtors and ascertain the correct position. Any discrepancy revel should be thoroughly inquired into and steaming and lading or lapsing. It is an in ingenious method of cancelling a cash shortage. It involves misappropriation of the receipt from one or more customer and covering the shortage of the receipt from still other customer. How to detect the teaming and lading? Examine carefully the debtor's balance in the ledger and make special inquiry into accounts which appear to be the falling more and more into arrear. The auditor should Pay particular attention to cases where credits have been entered for the payment on account, but it has it has been 
the practice of the customer to settle their accuracy regularly. If receipt for remittance are issued, check the counter files of the receipt with the cash book, paying particular attention to the amount and the date. Compare the original bank pay in slip for the check received and sent to the bank with the entries in the cash book to find out any splitting up of check have been made. If necessary, arrange with the client the statement of accounts prepared by under the supervision of the auditors. Staff be sent to all debtors asking for confirmation of the balances in their accounts. Interest and dividend, voucher for interest, passbook, agreement, schedule, counterfoils, you should check the cash book, interest amount and a personal account. You should check the investment ledger usually maintained in the business concern. The auditor should examine that all the interest and dividends have been received at due dates have been duly accounted for. In case the rate of interest and dividends are fixed, we should calculate and check them. Bills receivable. All details about the bills receivable can be available in the bills receivable book. Receipt from bills receivable and receipt from bills mature. The bills receivable which have been discounted and have not matured at the date of the balance sheet the cash so received should be properly entered in the cash book. The amount deducted for discount on such bills should be separately debited in the discount account. Receipt from bills matured. The cash received for bills available in respect of the amount has been received on maturity dates should be checked by comparing the bills received book, book with the cash book and the pass book. Commission received. Agreement with the parties, counterfoils, or receipt, etc. The auditor should consider the following points while vouching the commission received. He should check the commission account and the accounts of the parties from whom commission had been received. The auditor should examine the agreement with the parties of the rate of commission. He should examine the counterfoils of the receipt with the amount in the cash book. The auditor should make calculation to check the accuracy of the amount. Insurance claim. The auditor should examine the insurance policies carefully to ascertain the terms of claims. He should also check the claims register. He should examine the insurance money received from an insurance company against the claim of the firm help of correspondence. Share capital. In case of the firms, the partnership deal should be examined to find out the amount capital contributed by each partner. Bad debts. The auditor should vouch them examining counterfoils in the dividend warranties or other related document. He should ascertain the amount of bad debt and the rate of dividend for it. Thank you.